black holes. What do you think? A destroyer of worlds, something to be feared, a terrifying portal to another dimension, a space-time tear under terrific tension? John Mitchell imagined a star back in 1783 where a light emitted would return towards it for his own gravity. He pictured an object from which light can never escape, a dark star. Any other name would be a mistake. Ignore for a hundred years, how could gravity affect light? And then a patent clerk came up with a new insight. If gravity was caused by bending space, then starlight passing the sun would be in a different place. In 1919, during a solar eclipse, Edison saw starlight bent by a smidge. This proved that the sun's gravity was moving the light that we see. Light saw the skew in the heavens, said the papers. Einstein's theory triumphs. But what is a black hole? Imagine squeezing our sun down 250,000 fold down to the size of Heathrow Airport. The sun will be so dense and space will be so bent the light can no longer escape. But the planet will continue regardless orbiting the black point in frigid darkness. These are the normal black holes, a few suns down to the size of a town. There's a hundred million of them in our galaxy alone. A hundred million within the city of stars which we live. Most fall when a massive star, 20 suns or more, runs out of fuel. As it collapses, a burst of gamma rays and tears of gravitational waves confirm the death of a giant young star. And the black hole is all that remains. But how do you find a dark star in the blackness of space? You look for the surrounding gas as it orbits so fast, red shifted and blue shifted as it orbits in a disk. The broadening colours show something's amiss. It tells us the speed and the mass of the object any faster and the black hole would have lost it. And the gas is heated up to over a million degrees and x-rays are the last thing that anyone sees. But we have no reason to fear because none of them are near. The nearest have 200 million times further than the sun, so there's really no need for us to either hide or run. It's a black hole in a binary star system, goes by the name of AO620, and of 13 solar masses, well that's plenty. So what do you think is at the centre of our galaxy? What lies at the heart of our Milky Way? We know there's 4 million suns within the size of a solar system, a super massive black hole, but a small one at that. In some galaxies, there's a thousand times bigger, so you could only call that fat. Imagine our city of stars like a city of people and the sun's out in suburbia. No need to be fearful. But how close can you get until you should worry? How close can you get before you'll be dead? When the gravity on your feet would feel so much more than your head, Eventually you'd be too close and pull to a shred. But as sheep in wolf clothing, they've nothing to fear as at 4,000 kilometers, you'd have to be impossibly near. With a bad reputation for fearsome destruction, black holes are essential for our own reproduction. Massive stars make heavy elements deep within, like carbon and oxygen, that allows life to begin. The star violently collapses and the black hole becomes reality and those ingredients for life are spread around the galaxy where they later form planets and they later form life. So the next time you look in the mirror, think carefully about what you see, about how the death of a massive star led to you black holes and me.